Hi everyone, my name is Liz and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how I became a pet sitter, dog walker. How did I become a pet sitter? We're going to find that out right now. So I have been asked by many of my friends, family members, classmates, and anyone who knows that I do pet sitting for a living. I've been asked multiple times and many times I keep saying that I'm going to make a video so I can inform everyone so they could also get themselves out there and start doing their own pet sitting as well, if that's what they're interested. So finally, here it goes. I started pet sitting back in 2015. That was the same year that I graduated from college. I got a degree in art, bachelor's in art, I know. I was planning to become an art professor, but college was just not something I was passionate about or that I wanted to continue. So I stopped my studies for that i wanted to go on a different route i wanted to do something that i was more passionate about something that i have more control over something that i'd handle on my own like a business something that does not feel like a job for me that's when care.com came into my life i applied to care.com that was the first app website that i applied for and i looked into it and they had all these services of how to help people for instance it had like help the elderly how babysitting, pet sitting, all that good stuff or anything that the clients were looking for. So it was more like a side thing to do for myself when I was looking for a full-time job. On the app, I got my first client. It was this lady and she had a few cats. And the good part, it was that it was on my hometown. So that was pretty awesome because at the time I did not have a car. I know what you're thinking. I graduated from college and I still did not have a car. I know. But I believe a year after, before I turned 25, I got my license on my birthday. Yay. So that was in 2016 when I got my license. So I started driving around and made life so much easier because before I would be taking Ubers or getting a ride from family member, friends, anyone that wanted to give myself a ride to work it was such a hassle because at one point i was taking the bus because i have to work <laughs> you know there's another app that i came across which is called rover on that app it's more focused on pet sitting and dog walking so that was perfect for me i applied i started walking dogs the process was super simple you had to answer some questions get background check and meet up with them so they could give you your shirt, your bandana, fanny pack, everything so you could work for them or with them. <laughs> so all of that within one week. And I was just super excited. Like, yay, I'm going to do something I like because I love pets and I love animals. I started walking a few dogs. My first job actually through Rover was to house it at a pet owner's home for their two dogs. They're two small dogs. Luckily, it was for two weeks. Keep in mind, that was my first job. I got to feed them. I got to bathe them. I got to walk them. Literally, it was the whole experience. My first job with Rover, and I'm already getting all this experience with one client. I was very blessed, and I was so thankful that that was my first job because it really prepared me for what I was getting myself into. And after that, I decided, yes, this is something I really want to do and I want to dedicate my time to. And I just enjoyed it so much and it was so much fun. The dogs were so much fun. They were friendly. The owner was also friendly. It just worked out perfectly. Such a blessing. I also applied to WAG, which is an app a little bit different from Rover because Rover has a profile where clients are able to search you and they choose you. Like, hey, you want to be my dog walker, my pet sitter? They get to choose you directly. But WAG is more like on demand. They don't get to choose their walker. All they do is they send out a request. They either get to confirm it or deny it. That's how that app works. And the same thing with Rover. It was such an easy process. I got to walk dogs that same week. It was super quick and it got me going. I was starting my clientele. Little by little, I got my clients. It just flew from there. When I was looking for a job, my aunt, luckily, was looking for a personal assistant. And she thought of me. Yay! So I was a personal assistant. I moved into her area. I was working for her. 
since I was taking care of her dog and I was taking care of her daughter, which is my cousin, we got along perfect. It was so much fun. We had so much free time because when my cousin was in school and my aunt was at work, I was at home looking after the dog with all this free time. I continued doing Rover and I looked for clients around that area. And luckily I had a few clients that did want me to walk their dogs and take care of their dogs. My first client there, which I still remember how we met and everything, when, the first time I went there, I actually took my cousin with me. Everything went so well. And up to this day, I'm still working for that client, which is amazing because it's gonna be three years now. Time flies, oh my God. Well, I was working for my aunt. I got my clients around the area. And thank God that that area was actually populated with so many clients that had dogs and they would travel, they would go to work and they needed someone like me to look after their pets. And I was just so blessed on top of everything that had already previously happened. Things just kept adding. I had all these clients. It just felt like I didn't work because I was having so much fun. I enjoyed looking after my cousin and I enjoyed working with animals because I love animals. Since I really enjoyed my job, I really cared for the owner and the pet. I became really good at it. I was able to communicate very well with them and I did my job great because they really enjoyed me. They continue having me as their pet sitter. After I had like about, let's say like 10 clients, but they were not regular clients. I only had like two clients that were Monday through Friday. My aunt, unfortunately, did not need me anymore. Aww. I know. I'm sad. But it's okay. It was sad at the moment because I really enjoyed working for her and spending time with my cousin and their dog. I decided to continue doing pet sitting because I really enjoyed it. I started to make these flyers that had tabs in them. I started pasting them in the area where we lived. I continued walking the clients that I had. I did my business cards. Clients would just call me. Every week I would get a, a new message, a new call, a new client. It just skyrocketed in a way. I was just so blessed again. It was such an amazing experience. And thank God I knew how much I needed to charge them because of Rover and WAG and Care.com. I knew the pricing, the time, and how to communicate because those three platforms, they require a lot of communication. They require you to be professional, but at the same time, be friendly and fun. You know, all that good stuff. So I was already doing all of that. And then on my own, it was like, you know, I was thrown in a way <laughs> to go do my own thing. It just came very natural for me, just easy. I became really great at my job. My clients let me know that they really enjoyed having me. They always request me. Little by little, I kept getting clients, daily clients, Monday through Friday. And I would fill up my schedule, so I had to learn how to manage my time. I had to learn how to communicate with clients. I had to learn how to handle pets. And overall, just enjoy the process, enjoy it all, have fun. So all of that I learned. For me, those three keys were very important for my business. I'm pretty sure that would definitely help you if you are interested in becoming a pet sitter. I also realized that it's not for everyone. Unfortunately, I know everyone loves pets, but it's just not a job for everyone. I've helped a few friends here and there, but it's just not something that they're passionate about. Like you might love pets, but you might not like it as a job, you know, or maybe you have a hard time communicating with, with clients, or maybe you have a hard time managing your time. Who knows, but you know, not everything's for everyone. Luckily, this was for me, and I guess was, that was my calling at the moment. Now I have a full schedule. At one point, I did not even have a break because I had so many clients. I kept getting referred by my clients for new clients. I was starting to work from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. No lie, without a break in between. Sometimes I wouldn't even have a lunch break. So I would take a snack and I would eat it in the way because for some of them, I would have to drive to like a five minute drive, 10 minute drive. And that's when I would eat some snacks and eat on the way and just continue with work. And I would not have a break until like 3 p.m. and then just go back and I would end like at 6 p.m. So it was a long job Monday through Friday. 
but it did not feel like a job and I really enjoyed it and I would do my best to be free for that client to fit them in my schedule I was just so dedicated to my job very dedicated I tried to be as professional as I could I tried to be as friendly as I could very communicative and do my job as best as I can it was just such a great experience and wow this video really threw me back from how I used to be working with just having three clients and now I have like 20 clients you know not all of them are Monday through Friday but a really good amount of clients per day a week and that's how I started if you have any questions or any comments or if you would like me to help you with how to make your posters I will be making a video about that and also about how to make your business cards so please make sure you share this video subscribe and hit the bell for the next video so you can know when it comes up and that you don't miss anything with that said I will see you all on my next video thank you for watching see you next time bye